Hey, what's up? It's your boy Sin. Are you listening to the Hood News on the Hood on Lock? What's up, y'all? Hope y'all having a good day. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. Well, as you can see on the screen, today's topic is about my boy Trey Songs. They say he was at a NFL football game, Kansas City Chiefs, and a fan of some sort was heckling him in the stands about the game or whatever. Trey, you know, they say he asked him to, you know, calm down or to cut the bullshit out. And for some reason, this officer slash security, you know, they said came at him real aggressive. And um, Trey wasn't having it, man. <laughs> they don't call him trigger for nothing. I'm going to let y'all check out the video and y'all tell me what y'all think. Hey, what's up, y'all? <laughs> As y'all can see, that boy Trigger was a player, man. He had that nigga the Stone Cold Headlock. You know, this shit is crazy. I'm going to read to y'all what TMZ wrote about this story. And footage was also provided by TMZ. Shout out to them doing their thing for a long time now. You know? Um, yeah, but this is what they wrote. They said, Trey Songz found himself in the middle of a physical altercation with the police during the Kansas City Chiefs game. And fans who witnessed this said the cop was way out of line. Um, Trey and the officer was in a struggle. Trey connects up punches. Oh, hold up. That's what I get for trying to skip. <laughs> they have obtained a video from Arrowhead Stadium Sunday, which at first shows Trey and the officer in a struggle. Trey connects a punch with the officer's head and then gets him in a headlock. But then the officer pins Trey to the seat. A witness tells us the whole thing started when Trey was being heckled by some fan a few rows behind him, and he asked him to chill out. They were told then the officer approached Trey without warning and just went after him. The witness say Trey was totally cut off guard when the officer got physical and started to defend himself. Damn. That's crazy, man. I don't know what it is about police, though, man. They get a, they be punks in school, punks in their neighborhood. As soon as they join the gang that we know as the police department, get a gun, a badge, and protection from laws. Shit, them niggas get real hard. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've experienced that in my life a lot, like where police officers pull you over or 
come to, you know, report of something going on, and they don't get out chill. They get out all extra, out all tough. But I'm sitting here looking at the officer like, nigga, you's a bitch, dude. I could tell you a bitch. Like, like real niggas can see right through you, police officers. In case y'all don't know that, like, why you think we talk to y'all the way we do? Cause we know without that gun, without a gang behind you, you niggas is pussies and cowards. Now you can never say all when you speak on anything, but it's like a ninety percent coward rate on the police department side. That's the reason why they joined the police force. That's the reason why they shoot you in the back, claiming that they scared. Like if I'm running away from you, how you shoot me in my back and you say you're afraid from running away from you without no weapon? Like that's coward shit, scared motherfuckers. Um, but anyway, back to the story. Uh. It says, you can hear fans throughout the video shout at the officer telling him to get off his trade songs until additional officers arrive. Fans were telling the officers, that, no, the fans were yelling that the officer should be arrested. When, once backup got there, they were able to separate Trey and the cops, and they put Trey in handcuffs. They was told that Trey was still in custody, but it's unclear if he's being booked for anything or simply detained. You know what I'm saying? Like I was saying earlier, man, if you black, a minority, or stay in a poor city or poor neighborhood ever in your life, you probably experience exactly what I'm talking about. And probably what happened to, you know, Trey Songs, man. Some power trip pig, you know, wanna you know, job is born, his wife born, sex is born, so he come and work with an attitude. Probably ain't even got no bra. Probably sitting up there playing with himself, a weird motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I can't stand cops like that. Like, nigga, if you's a bitch in real life, nigga, don't join the force and then start acting all hard. Because nigga still see right through you with the gun in your hand. Nigga can still see you a fucking coward. Somebody need to tell you motherfuckers that. Like, for real. Like, all bullshit aside, nigga. A gun don't make you hard. You can be a gun and still be a motherfucking coward. That's just real talk, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, you niggas is pussy. Scary motherfuckers, but then y'all act tough in the act of duty. But then when y'all do some fucked up foul shit, oh, I was afraid, I was afraid. So tired of that shit. <laughs> but yeah, y'all leave me a comment below and let me know what y'all think. Is Trey Songz about to go to jail for assaulting an officer? Will the officer get fired or suspended? Nah, doubt that shit. Or will they just let bygones be bygones? Man, I read the comments. I reply from time to time. Be sure to pay attention to the live show coming up. I got some money I want to give away to y'all. Once I hit a thousand subscribers or a thousand viewers, somebody gonna get a hundred dollars. I've been telling y'all that for the longest. As y'all watch me, like my video, subscribe and build me up. Once I get to a certain level in this shit, I'm going to give away cars and houses. like, And I'm not giving it to people that already got it. I want to give it to the people that don't got it. The people that's in need. I want to be able to say your grandma about to lose her house. I want to be able to go buy your grandma a house right from her. Like buy it from her. Or do some kind of deal where it's like, okay, she gave me the house, but she can live in it. Until, you know, God call her home or some shit like that. Like, I mean, you're going to lose it anyway to the bank. You might as well give it to me. With a guarantee you can live there to the day you die type shit. Like, I'm trying to put people in new homes. New cars. You know what I'm saying? All kind of shit. Like, I need y'all to trust me. Subscribe. Hit that like button. Watch my shit. Fuck with me on live. Call in. All that good shit. And when I grow... You gonna grow on some real shit. Let's let's eat. <laughs> it's your boy Sin. And again, you watching the hood news on the hood on lot. Stay safe. Stay smoking.